the deaf community? Did you? I remember them very, very well. Uh, so they were very intelligent people, most of them. And do you remember how they used to speak? Or? Well, with, they could make a few guttural sounds to call your attention. Well, the way that most of the deaf people communicated, was it with the alphabet? or did Oh, no, they had signs. For instance, my older brother was in the store one day, and uh, this tall man came in, and he got my brother's attention. And then he uh, used his right arm and uh, scratched his left arm, scratched up and down. And my poor brother didn't know what to do. So he went to the clerk, who understood the language pretty well, and said, so-and-so is here, and he keeps scratching his arm up and down. Why, well, Fred, the clerk, said, why, well, don't you know what he wants? He wants a carry comb for his horse. <laughs> so that's just one that, I, that was quite vivid to me. I know one time someone was down at James Looks. He was one of the Look brothers that owned the land down on the on the West Tisbury side of the Great Pond, you know, quite a number of acres there. And his wife, Prudy, who was brought up in Showmark and knew the language, uh, blew a horn, and he heard it way down the pond, far beyond what a voice would go. And uh, she made just a few little signs, and he indicated to his wife that he understood. And someone said, well, what's that all about, or something to that effect? Oh, he said, I don't remember the name. John Jones is going to come this afternoon for half a bushel of potatoes. It was just amazing how a few little symbols would uh, mm -hmm. would carry through. So a lot of people who weren't deaf used the language. Oh yes, they had to to communicate. Oh yes. Hmm. Yeah. A mother could talk better with them than my father because when mother was a little girl, her mother had a deaf and dumb woman come and help her with the housework. And she learned to make certain sounds, and certain symbols, I mean. I remember in school, I knew the alphabet, so I had, to, I had to speak every word by spelling it. And that took a long time. And I used to talk to Roger Allen. This was Joe Allen's young brother. And the, uh, the teacher would jump on me and say, stop talking. And I said, I'm not talking. She somehow couldn't master the word communicate. If she said communicate, I'd have known what she meant. Of course, I would pull her in her leg, and she, she knew it, but she couldn't get around it. So Roger and I would talk back and forth. They have a whale of a good time. <laughs>